Welcome to the RVDO tutorial of Merging Two Data Sets, Part 2. This is part of Statistics 321 at Virginia Commonwealth University, but anybody can use it. Okay, so this is Part 2 of Merging Two Data Sets. Uh, the difference here is that we have different column names. Before, the column names were identical in the two data sets. Here, the, the column names will be different, and we need to put this information in. So the first thing we're going to do is read in two data sets. And I put a link uh, above in the description to the video that will show you how to read these in. I put them on my desktop, and I'm using the path approach to doing this. So the first thing I'm going to do is read these two data sets in. And now they've been read in. I've got data one and data two. We can look at them real quick. We can see this one has store ID, and this one has store number. And if you look at the two of these, they're actually the same information in terms of what information is in the column, but the column headings are different. And instead of changing the column headings and then merging them together, you can actually merge it together by using uh, the different names directly. So let's give this a go. We're going to use the same technique as before, which is just using the merge statement. So here I'm going to make data three, and here we're just merge them together. So we're going to merge. I'm going to put here x equals data one and y equals data 2. And then here we have to do by.x, which will tell me the column names that we're going to use for merging in data 1. So in data 1, that was called store ID. And then I'm going to do by.y, which will get, I will put in the column name for the second data set for data two. And there it was store number, I believe. So here I put in here store number. Let's make sure. We'll double check and correct. And it has to be spelled correctly and case sensitive. All right, so let's give this a go and see what happens. Okay, it creates data three. Notice it has 25 observation and now it has five variables. Now look, it has store ID, square foot, parking, lease, income, which is all of them merged together, but it kept the store ID one versus the store number. And if you look here, that is the first one we pulled. If I wanted to switch this around, I would have to switch both data one, data two, and store ID and store number in order to get them in the correct order. All right, so this is how you merge two data sets together with different column names and merging on the column name. And we can move on to our next video.